Hi, right, welcome to another photo link video on uh, GIMP. Um, in this one, we are going to discuss a rather advanced topic. It's called uh, Wavelet Decompose. Uh, Wavelet Decompose is a filter that can be uh, downloaded off the GIMP um, repository, filter repository. Actually, it's a plugin. So you install it in the plugin directory. You just drop it in the plugin directory, and next time you come up in GIMP, it becomes active. Uh, complete instructions on doing so are there. Um, but basically what it does is, is it uh, takes the detail on an image and breaks it down into various layers, which it calls scales, based on the frequency of that detail. Um, compliments of a friend of ours in Ireland named Mark. We have another one of his photographs. This is one of his and his son. Beautiful photograph. What we need to do at this point is think about how possibly we could improve on this photograph since it is so good. And the only thing that I can really see, which really is an improvement, is there's a little bit of 5 o'clock shadow here that I would like to isolate that beard um, from the rest of his face. And uh, how we're going to do that is through the Wavelet Decompose uh, 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 plugin. So I'm going to come up to Filters, I'm going to go into Generic, and I'm going to go into Wavelet Decompose. Up here it's going to ask me <coughs> how many um, uh, Wavelet Detail Scales or Layers do I wish to break my detail into. I've specified five. So I'm going to click OK. We'll wait for it here to run. And then we'll bring back up our uh, Layers dialog. And if you'll notice, the background image uh, was basically the image we started with. What we have is we have five scales of detail <coughs> and the uh, wavelet residual, which is the remaining detail after it broke um, the first five levels out, detail levels out. What remains is in the original or in the residual. I can turn these off one by one and if you'll notice I have the detail broken up into these scales based on their frequency. In scale 2 and 3 you'll find that I you'll see that I have this detail <coughs> that is that uh, beard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over Select this gray as the background color with this tool here. Change foreground color. Take my eyedropper and select it. So I'm going to say OK. And I'm going to go into my paintbrush. I've got the fuzzy circle selected here. I'll make it slightly smaller. And now between the scales 2 and 3, I'm going to paint away this detail. Since this is just an example, it will not be perfect. Just enough so I can show you what's going on here. Now I'm going to move over to my other scale where part of the detail appears. Since it's split between two of the wavelet scales. And now if you'll notice as I turn my other um, Wavelet scales back on their visibility attribute. If you'll notice, the beard detail is now gone. The face detail remains, but the beard detail is gone. And I mean, this is an extremely powerful tool. So if I get rid of my background, and then if I come up to image and tell it to flatten my image,
what we have here is a retouched photograph where um, we have eliminated um, that, that basically the razor stubble. So um, I feel that it um, looks a little nicer. It's a good photograph to begin with, but makes it more portrait-like. So remember, I'm going to revert to the image. Original image. There it is with the facial hair back in. I just come up to Filters, Generic, Wavelet decom Decompose, tell it how many detail scales I want to break it into, tell it OK. Breaks it into those detail scales. Then what I can do, remember this is a background copy so I can eliminate it. Then I can turn my scales off until I find where the scales basically reside that have the detail I want to, uh, to uh, eliminate. Then going between the two scales, I just paint over that detail. And then uh, make all my layers visible. And then uh, go ahead and flatten the image. Okay, well, thank you uh, for watching this video. And uh, thanks, uh, Mark, for providing it. And uh, please visit www.photolink, that's F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q.com for uh, more tutorials. I've got to post a bunch more up there but that I've done. But um, And also, if you'd like to work on some of your images, uh, please email them to me at uh, joeg, that's J-O-E-G, at F-O-T-O-L-I-N-Q dot com. That's joeg at photolink dot com. And uh, thank you for watching, and uh, Happy New Year, and have a nice day.